Hi everybody, it's Janet Rockware again for Moon Cusser Art. I am going to do another swipe technique today and I want to be clear that I'm only using the Rust-Oleum paint here to prime my board and then the blue tape is to protect those sides. Uh, I think there was a little bit confusion possibly on my last swipe for Scarlet Amoeba. But you can see I'm putting clear coated resin over the entire surface of my board here. And I like to do that because the brown can really mix into your other colors and give a lot of issues. So this tends to work really good for me um, by priming my base coat and then I can go about making my effects on the board. So with that in mind, let's torch out those bubbles and get ready to put on some color. And let's see how the swipe goes today. I'm looking forward to doing this a lot. It was so much fun the last time. So I had batched up 12 ounces of Promarine resin. I used the um, tabletop, bar top, and... I did that clear coat and now I'm adding colors. This is Art Tree Creations Aqua. And it's a really uh, pretty turquoise color, a little bit on the dusky side, but it works really good up against the brown. I love their colors. They've got a really nice range. I also am using their um, metallic powder. It's a copper and it's a nice bright copper color. Their metallic powders blend in very nicely with resin. I don't have to do any extra prep. I already have my resin uh, batched up and mixed completely and then I add in the powder and stir that in and it just blends out. I don't have any lumps. This color that I'm pouring out, this is from Black Diamonds. This is their P Kiwi. And I used this on another piece before and the results were really pretty. But I knew when I had done the first piece that this was going to look really good in a brown combination. So this Kiwi color, it's a brown, but it has uh, metallic effects to it that are a greenish turquoise color and it really is beautiful and I wanted to use it here because I was hoping to get some really nice effects out of it. The white that I used is also from Art Tree Creations. This is their Iceland white and it gives really nice lacing effects. So I'm going to torch these out, get the bubbles out, and then I'm going to get ready to doing some of the swipes. So you warm up your resin a little bit. I torch the bubbles. Now I'm warming it with my heat gun. Doing all of that is important to keep the temperature of the resin as fluid as possible. And with doing this swipe technique, today I'm using wax paper. The wax paper is a little bit lighter than using the freezer paper that I did the first time. So what I do is I make sure that the whole edge of my wax paper, well I say I make sure and it kind of didn't, but anyway, you want that to really lay into the resin and having that clear coat down is creating a surface that I'm going to be able to pull that swipe across and get those effects coming up um, through the resin. So here now I'm using my heat gun and it's blowing not on high but it's on a medium setting and uh, just a warm setting. Uh, I use the Wagner, I think it's a Ferno 400 I believe. I'll, I'll put that in um, my comment box, but this is um, using that blade allows for the heat gun to spread out 
and actually what I'm doing is I push that colored swipe out even more and that's what stretches the color of resin so it works good and it, you know keep warming up your spots that you're gonna work I, I've seen that um, by doing it step by step and warming each area right before I swipe it really helps you don't want to just you know warm up the whole board and then swipe everywhere if you work in small areas and swipe as you go I find that works really good so give that a try uh, monitor your board I took about oh I think I worked this board for a total of 40 minutes um, the temperature in the room was about 75 degrees and I when I batched up my resin I was real quick to start getting the colors in and start moving it around the board so I'm kind of working two-handed here I have the heat gun in one hand and I'm blowing the resin out with that and then I'm torching it so when I hit it with the torch that's when I get those metallics to kind of pop and come up to the surface so give that a try um, you can see that pushing with that blade really thins it out and stretches it and then you come in and you give it a little shot with the flame and that's when those metallics will come up to the surface for you so check it out you can see there that flash of that copper just bloomed when I hit it with the torch so try that see how it works I focused on the one area of the board from my first pour I left the aqua alone in the middle to kind of stay heavy in the middle because I knew I was going to want to swipe in the other direction so now I'm adding another line out of my other colors and that's going to allow me to get that fresh swipe again if you don't pour out and swipe again on fresh color you're going to get better movement and better effects out of the resin that you've just laid down so that's why I'm taking this method and you know you can pour the whole thing this is again I'm working on trying to get these effects to come out from the swipe so laying out fresh lines of color and getting that effect um, I find that it works out good and you know adding on another pour of the aqua color so that I have plenty of material to help build those layers and get the color out so pop the bubbles with your torch gets it warmed up just a little bit more and then you're in good shape all right, so let's zoom in here so you guys can see, you know, I'm moving that wax paper, dropping it in, and then moving it and swirling that resin that the wax paper is dragging off into that clear area. Remember, the brown is dry. It's just clear resin sitting on top. And that's what's allowing the pull of color to float on top of that clear and that's where you get those lacing to come through I'm trying to do some close-ups for you so that you can really see this uh, swipe happening um, so I'm just gonna again work in small areas and focus on that swipe you can see the one that I just did before this one check out the lacing that's happening in there and that's if you break it down into smaller sections while you're doing this you're going to keep getting a nice little swipe wherever you're working those colors are pretty aren't they so now I'm going to come back around I've done my swipes I'm going to use that heat gun warm it up and use that blade on the heat gun to really drive 
those areas of the swipe around because the metallics want to float up. They're lightweight and they want to float up and they float up even better when you put that heat on them and stretch them with the blow of the heat gun and the heat in combination. And then I always follow up with the torch because the torch really creates a much hotter heat than the heat gun and that's what lifts those pigments from the metallics up. So now up here I want to again get a little bit more in and a, a smaller area working with the wax paper and getting that resin to float across the other colors and building up the layers. But you can see again I, I did what I'm saying you know I'm warming it up and then doing the the swipe. So here's a real good clip of me working two-handed. I've got the torch in one hand, I heat it up, and then I come in with the heat gun and blow it out and stretch out that resin. So that's basically how it's pulling those colors apart, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, it just, you know, it a oh, little bit of flame there, a little bit of smoke, watch out. It's a little hot. Um, at this point, I think I've been working about 30 minutes on the board. So once the resin starts getting set up and you're putting too much heat on there, that's where you're going to get that uh, flame because the resin's just getting too hot. It's doing its own cure. It's getting too hot, and you got to watch your timing. All right, so here's another technique I'm going to show. Um, like I said, I've been working for about 30 minutes on the board, and my um, time working with the resin is just about over. I don't want to keep torching and heating because that's when you're going to get areas in the surface of your resin that are not very pretty. You want to avoid those. So I'm pouring out the resin that I've got left in cups, and here I'm using just a really cheap plastic spackle knife. And I scoop up the resin from the tabletop on the wax paper. And then you pick it up and load up the, the blade and you can let it drip off. And as it's running off, you can see it's slow to run off because the resin is starting to set up and it's going to make some really nice patterns. So that's a nice way to add interest on your board and get a little bit more detail that's different from the rest of your board because if it's all the same thing, it gets kind of boring. All right, now it's the next day. I was uh, very pleased with the lacing that I got. Um, looked good. I got those metallics to float up, but I just wanted to really incorporate that black diamond pigment, that kiwi, because it kind of got taken over by the other colors on the piece. So I'm going to do another layer. And I'm going to use the same colors again. I'm using the Art Tree Creations Iceland White. And I've got the um, Metallic Copper. And I also have, again, the Black Diamond Kiwi is what I'm really focusing on. Because I loved how I could see it peeking through the lacing, but the other colors really overpowered it. So by doing this second layer, I'm going to be able to make that kiwi be more front and center. So it's an 18 by 18 inch board, and I clear coated it with 11 ounces of the Pro Marine resin that I mixed up, and then I tinted small amounts out of that 11 ounces. And I'm just adding it wherever I feel I need a little bit more detail. Again, I want to get that kiwi color to do its thing. You'll be able to see in the photographs that I took when the, fi the finished piece was done 
how that kiwi really gave off some pretty, pretty shine and colors. Um, it just is lovely. Um, Black Diamond, thank you very much for that color. And one of the reasons why I did decide to do this second layer was I felt as if the aqua was a little too intense, uh, kind of dominating the piece. And I wanted to mute it to tone it down a bit. So I didn't use any more aqua. I only worked with the little bit of white, not much white at all, because I felt that I had plenty of that. But I used a little bit more copper and a lot more of that black diamond kiwi because that's really what I want to dominate in the work and um, get that depth out of what I'm doing here. You can put in the detail. You can see again, I'm, I'm trying to um, stretch out with the heat gun and with the torch working two-handed and that's what really makes those metallics float up to the surface. So put down your resin, uh, torch out the bubbles, warm it up with that heat gun and stretch it out. So in order to keep the resin floating up on the top, it's nice to add in veins of clear and then pour out your line of color and then you're able to build and have that edge of clear to float your resin across. It just gives a little bit more, um, just another wave of clear, let's say, to run that color piece across. So that if hopefully you guys understand that, but. Um, try it. If you don't understand it, just try doing it. Pour a line out of clear, follow it up with your color, and then torch out the bubbles real quick and start driving your color over top of that wave of the clear. And it should give you some good effects. And I love working with the heat gun in this way because it just pulls out that metallic cover, color, I should say. Um, it just really, I love this kiwi. Gosh, I hope Black Diamond has a lot of it in stock because if you guys are watching this and you're hearing me uh, talk about how much I love it, they're going to sell out of it. It's pretty. All right, I'm speeding up the film here because I'm just using those same techniques that I just talked about and working the whole surface of the board in this manner. Anywhere I feel like I need a little bit of something extra, I throw down that clear line, add a little bit of color, and then I push the color with the heat gun using the torch to make the metallics come up and drive that with the heat gun blower to wherever it is I want to try to get it. So I'm going to finish this up and I hope you guys are learning from me. Please comment. Uh, give me a thumbs up. If you give me a thumbs down, that's okay too. But, you know, I need to understand why. So please comment if you think I'm doing something that is not of interest. Mm -hmm.